If you're looking to build an online presence, continue watching this video because we're going to compare Card and Webflow. And we're going to break it down in terms of which tool is best for you, depending on your skills, your experience, and what you are wanting to build. And at the end, we'll have a third option for your consideration. So let's get started with the simple one. This is Card. Now, before I do jump in, know that we have made many videos on Card and the different ways that you can use it, including tutorials and guides. But Card is best explained for its main purpose. And it actually says it here. Simple, free, fully responsive, one page sites for pretty much anything. So websites like landing pages, portfolios, or lead generation pages. And if you click choose a starting point, it really shows you the kind of websites you can build. Now you can start with a blank page and build it using the different elements, but the key to using card effectively is to use their templates. So if we go to the top, we can see profile templates for things like Linktree, style websites, or just like a profile website for your personal brand. Landing pages, which is more, these are the more complex ones, which um, sometimes they have form generations, but they also have ones uh, like this one where it's a little bit more trying to sell a product or sell a service. We have the form, which is lead generation. So for example, over here, the newsletter template, portfolio for creative designers, people in photography or digital design trying to show their portfolios. The section is like one page designs that simulate multiple pages using section breaks. So here we are inside the builder. I've just chosen a template. This is your control panel over here. Again, I'll link to a video that goes through this so you know more about it. But the idea is that you start with the template, click on any element, change colors, change fonts, change uh, animations, things like that over here with the animations. And then you can change the text here easily, change the text here, and then change the text and the links over here too by clicking the drop-down box. So that's how you use card for these simple one-page designs. Now, if we go to the pricing, so you can build three websites with ProLite for just $9 a year. And if you click this arrow, 10 sites, 14. Now, this includes premium URLs, no branding in terms of no card branding on it, high quality images. So if you're building a very, very simple website, you just want one, it's only $9 a year for the hosting and everything. Now, if you want forms in order to collect emails, specific widgets, um, things like embeds as well, Google Analytics, etc. Then you'll need Pro Standard for nineteen dollars a year. You can build up to ten sites with this. And we did make a video recently where we talked about a business idea where you can build other people's websites and host them on card. So for two hundred and fifty dollars a year, you can have two hundred and fifty websites. So the key features are the drag and drop interface, the starting templates that you can use, the affordable pricing plans. They are mobile responsive as well by default, and you can have built-in integrations. And it's best for freelancers, small businesses, or personal projects. And it's ideal for things like quick launches or minimalist websites. Now, Webflow is a complete different beast. This is a powerful no-code platform, and it's designed for creating multi-page dynamic websites with content management systems. And it's a focus on custom design and functionality. So it's aimed at professionals and businesses who want the flexibility of a custom built website, but without coding. If you look at the platform, you can see how they talk about the build and the manage and the optimize and extend. So we have a lot of things going on with Webflow. Now the learning curve is steeper than it is with card, but obviously you're gonna get more features and more flexibility and more customization. And one of the things about it, it has CMS here, so you can manage your content at scale, great for blogs or dynamic elements on your website. And if we actually look inside the designer, you can still click on elements over here and bring up the elements here. But if you just look at this uh, section over on the right-hand side, if you're new to web design, you're going to be thinking, wow, this is complicated. Now it's all about learning the tool and we actually have a course on this inside nocode.mba, the platform that we have. Go to the description to click on the link to learn more about that. I'll also link to other videos on the YouTube channel too to get a taste of those courses. See here that, again, clicking on another element, there's a lot to this one here. So, and then you're thinking, 
How does this all link together? If you click this button over here, you can add different elements to it, like typography. Again, it's drag and drop, no code, but it's a lot more complicated when it comes to it. So we have the design section here, and we also have the build, where it allows you to build out the different pages in terms of building out your website. So the key features to Webflow are the design control with a powerful visual editor, the content management system for dynamic data-driven websites. You have hosting with built-in SEO tools and integrations, and you also have e-commerce capabilities for online stores. So this is best for designers, agencies, and businesses needing advanced customization and projects requiring multi-page functionality or complex design elements. And as of recording, we can go to the uh, pricing and see the site plans. So there's two, there's general, but there's also the e-commerce plan too. So this allows you to unlock features designed for online retailers. Now, if we go to the monthly pricing, so this is if you pay monthly, there's also yearly, um, and it breaks it down by month, but you have to enter that yearly contract. These are the prices. So for general, for most people, if you're having a blog, you need the CMS, um, you're looking at $23 per month. If you want the e-commerce, um, this standard one is 29 a month. The plus is $74 a month. So when should you consider a card? We believe when you need a simple, fast landing page or portfolio website, you're also working on a tight budget and you're a beginner wanting a straightforward tool. And going back to card, a good thing to, a good place to start is, are these templates going to be what I need? Are they going to help me build the website I want? If you want a blog, look elsewhere. If you want to build an e-commerce store, yes, you can integrate Gumroad here, but if you want one that has portfolios and different types of things and backend data, then Webflow is going to be better. Now, Webflow is best when you're wanting to build a multi-page website or need advanced features like a CMS. Um, you're a designer or agency creating custom designs for clients and you need advancing integrations, e-commerce functionality, and dynamic content. Now, one tool that is in between these tools is Squarespace, because Squarespace is a lot more user-friendly to build if you don't have any website design knowledge in the past, but it also has a lot of different templates and products, they call them products, to add on to it. So you can have online stores, scheduling, invoicing, you can build simple blogs, and there's also different like email marketing tools baked into this. So Squarespace is like an all-in-one platform where you can build websites, but while also not feeling overwhelmed by the learning curve. However, if you do learn with Webflow and go through that process of learning how to use it, then you'll be able to adapt this to any project that you want to build in the future. So it might be worth your time to go through a course like the one we have at nocode.mba to learn how to build with Webflow in order to have this skill moving forward with your projects. So we hope you found this useful. Be sure to go to nocode.mba slash updates to stay up to date with the latest news on all things no code and AI because things move quickly in this space. And you'll join a fellow community of over 20,000 no coders. And then check out the course on Webflow where we've had added new tutorials recently. You're gonna learn from the top instructors and have a breakdown of things like how to create a logo carousel, the hero section of a website, how to build footers, interactions, SEO, basically everything you're going to need in order to learn Webflow. Click the link in the description to go here and stay here on YouTube to learn more about Webflow and Card with our free tutorials. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.